Wouldn't you like to hit it just like that? I'm at Glen Abbey, hole number one, beautiful par five, 295 yards down there. And um, on a uh, 470 yard par five, that puts me in a really nice position to get home in two and to put myself in a nice birdie position right out of the gate. If you're struggling with distance and you're a little bit older and you're going, where the heck did my distance go? And it's like the, the harder you try, the worse it gets. There's a reason for that. So you want to stay tuned for this video because this today, the best drill for getting effortless power for the senior golfer or for the regular golfer for that matter is right here, right now. You're going to love it. Now, before we continue, we would love for you to be a part of Wisdom in Golf. So subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment or question down below, suggestion or two, and um, you know, hit that notification bell so that you know, you're notified when we have a new video, which is at least once a week, and you don't want to miss that kind of information. So here's where we want to get with. Um, notice uh, Taylor Pendrith is, uh, you know, putting up quite a fuss out there in Bermuda this weekend. And uh, there everybody's raving about, you know, how far he hits it, how solid he hits it. Shot a 61 in windy the conditions the there and uh, on the second round. Way down to the bottom. And uh, is really so holding his own after the Saturday so round. So I'm hoping he can bring it home tomorrow on Sunday. Fingers crossed. And, um, you know, one of the reasons why I like him so much is that my swing has a lot of the same components he does. you know, across the line at the top, flying elbow, high hands and arms. That just happens to be the staple of the long hitter. What we're looking for is range of motion. Range of motion trumps effort every single day of the week. So we don't want to swing harder. We want to swing longer. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you an awesome drill here that's really going to hit home. It's called the slow motion drill. And what we're going to do, notice how slow my backswing was in the first swing. So I take my normal setup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the biggest, slowest, most relaxed backswing I can make. Okay? So super slow, super relaxed, super slow, super relaxed. Notice how my lower body is immediately, not only is it following, it's actually leading a little bit and allowing my arms to go into the backswing. If I froze my lower body and didn't let it turn, I go with the arms only. I really feel it in my ribs right now. My QL joint right back here is starting to scream at me. My ribs are starting to separate. I got a peck full of bicep over here. Not good. Whereas, relax, relax, relax. Look at that. So by the time my hands are waist high, I'm basically almost fully turned. So I cannot continue with my right arm extended like that. So keep going. Ah, now it's, it feels the need to fold. If I don't fold, eh, not relaxed anymore. Folds, and then notice now it begins to hinge my wrists. So, super slow and relaxed, super slow and relaxed, super slow and relaxed. Biggest backswing I can make. There it is. Now, from here, it feels like I could whip the snot out of it easily. That's the key, okay? So let me just move my bag out of the way here. 
and I'll do a nice practice swing for you. So get that out of the way. Huge backswing. I'm going to now throw my club in the direction I want to start the ball. So what's important about that, if you go to our, you know, just type in throwing the club, Sean Clement, have a look at all the videos I do on throwing the club. Incredibly important. You're thinking now with this huge backswing, how in the world am I going to get back to the ball? Not about that. It's about throwing the club to the target. So notice these beautiful lines I have on my club. This is legal, by the way. This is electrical tape that we're putting on the face. We've already approved this from the USGA themselves. You'll see the video I did about that and I posted uh, in, the, uh, in one of the comments uh, the beautiful response we got from the USGA. One of, our, one of our members went in there and checked it out. So, and they asked the question, now, if I swing back and through without stopping in front of this ball, watch the blur of the club as it passes. Throw. So imagine I'm throwing my club through the screen. Super slow, super relaxed, super slow, super relaxed. Oh yeah, I feel like I can really throw it out there. Throw it out there. I saw that nice blur and it looked like the blur of the club was parallel to the ball in that intermediate point. Okay. So I want to right now, my eyes would be on the tip of the T on the, on the green part of the T. And what I'm doing is I'm sending the tip of the T in that direction over that intermediate point. So here we go. Oh man, that was tagged right down the middle. Ooh. So satisfying, right? So notice 285 carry and I had just 200 side spin left. That was like a straight draw. 2,400 in the, uh, in the backspin. So notice how slow that was. All that matters after you finish that backswing is to give yourself a little bit of momentum. Look at a baseball player. So that baseball, baseball player waiting for the, they're waiting for the, the serve. They're waiting for the pitch over here. And when the pitch comes and they commit to it, notice how they, as they're stepping into it, they raise the bat. They're giving themselves a little bit of momentum to hit it, right? Same thing here. So slow and relaxed. Even if you stop, then give yourself a little bit of momentum. I'm just throwing the club in that direction. All right. So I got my intermediate point. Wow. That is so solid. Just a little bit too much draw. Look how deep that is. So I'm carrying that 300 yards, 295. And who cares if I have a shot out of the rough now? I can make the green with a seven iron, right? So, you know, use that drill and you can use that drill with any club in the bag. So let's say I'm going with a nine iron here. Make sure I don't strain at all. Boom. <laughs> Too much fun. Look at the carry now. That was nutted in the center of the face. Now we're at 160 carry. Nine iron, right? These are the Apex Pros. Those are... They're not beefed up as far as the lofts are concerned. So enjoy that smoothness. Gather huge range of motion. That left knee comes in behind the ball. That left heel comes off the ground. Your whole backside's facing the target. 
humongous backswing. And it's not, as you turn, it has nothing to do with how far inside you're going. This is a really important point for you to understand. Let me get my hammer here. If I wanted to hammer a nail into the side of this chair, see this? So this is me hammering down, and this is me hammering through. So notice, I'm getting ready to hammer through. See how my shoulders are a little closed, my hips and knees a little bit closed, but watch the backswing. Slow and relaxed, slow and relaxed. Look where the hammer's going. The hammer's not coming inside. What allows me full width in my swing is the fact that my body is turning. So if I wanna snap a punch towards you, notice my body is turning out of the way, but my punch is going straight at you. Well, that's the same thing in the backswing. Backswing, follow through, backswing. Notice backswing, full turn, follow through, full turn. This is what gives me access to the target and this is what gives me access to the backswing. So when I get ready to hammer a nail, I don't do this, I'm gonna bend the crap out of the nail. I don't do outside, I don't do up. I just do wide. Wide gives me fantastic rotation. Wide. Now it feels like I can really plaster the ball in that direction very easily. And because my, my arms and club are balanced in my backswing, that's why the arms go up and not sideways. Watch. Relaxed, relaxed, relaxed. Not relaxed, relaxed, not relaxed. Feels like everything's falling backwards. Ugh, I'm falling over versus How good is that, huh? Enjoy. See you next week.